So what does this word salvation mean? What does it mean to be saved? Some people believe that to be saved is to be saved from themselves or saved from the devil. But that's not true. To be saved or to experience salvation is to experience salvation from God's judgment. Now this may be a hard pill to swallow, but understand that God is perfect. And since God is perfect, He cannot associate Himself with sin. And that leaves a problem for you and I, because we are sinners. The Bible says, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Now, how many lies does it take to be a liar? Just one. And because of that, every single one of us, we all have sin. And so because of that, God is a holy God. And because of His holiness and His justice, He judges sin. Now, that doesn't make God unloving. It doesn't make God uh, uh, not you know, love you, He can be loving and also holy at the same time. Because He knew that we would all be sinners and because of our sin, what He did was He paved a way for us. This is good news. This is called the Gospel. And the Gospel is this, that Jesus Christ, God's Son, He was perfect. And He came to this earth and He lived a perfect life without sin. And yet He went to the cross for all of our sins, for your sins and for mine. And He took all of our sins on the cross and He paid for all of our sins and He redeemed us and He rescued us. What a cool thing to think that all of our sins have been paid for. So salvation is found only in Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us in Acts chapter 4 and verse 12, salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to men by which we must be saved. So we're only saved through Jesus Christ. Some people believe that you get saved by good works and being a good person. But let me tell you, if it had to do with good works, why did Jesus Christ die on the cross? He did that for you and for me. So we don't get to heaven based upon anything that we do. The Bible is clear in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 8 and 9, for it's by grace you're saved through faith, not of yourselves, not of works, but it is a gift that comes from God. So you're not saved by what you do, but by what has already been done through Jesus Christ's death on the cross and His resurrection from the grave. I heard a great story about a dad that took his son and several of his friends to a carnival. While they were at the carnival, the dad, he would rip off the tickets and he gave them out and his son had five friends, so there were six of them total, and he would pass them out before they would go on each and every one of the rides. Well, they got to the big Ferris wheel and he was passing out the tickets and finally after all six of them, there was one more boy that was standing there and he had his hand out for a ticket. And the boy's dad looked at this kid and he said, who are you? The boy said, well, I'm Johnny. I'm your son's new best friend. And he told me that if I told you that I was his friend, that he'd give me a ticket. You know what the dad did? He gave that boy a ticket so he could ride the Ferris wheel. Well, the same is true about God. We have salvation only because of Jesus Christ and only because of what he has done for us. I want to give you an opportunity right now that if you haven't asked Jesus Christ to come into your heart and life, to do that today. I believe it's the most important decision you'll ever make in your life because you, you have a problem. It's a sin problem, but yet God loves you so much. He provided a way for you to get to Him only through Jesus Christ. So you've got to admit that you're a sinner, believe Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sin, confess your sin, and put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. If you'd like to do that right now, I'd ask you just to pray this prayer right now. Just bow your head and close your eyes and just repeat this prayer. It's more than just words. It's in your heart as well as in your mouth, the Bible says in Romans 10. So let's pray together. Just say, God, I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me of my sins. Come into my heart. You be the boss. You be the coach. You be the CEO of my life. Thank you for offering me salvation. God, I want to follow you, and I trust in you. I put my belief in you today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen.
Hey, if you prayed that prayer today, I'm so excited for you. Welcome to the family of God. I'd encourage you to look at our link in our video on what to do now, now that you've asked Christ into your heart and your life.